friends, it's Jess and Kala with That Portland Life, and today we're going to be telling you all about our favorite up-and-coming neighborhoods in Portland and why they're the perfect place for you to invest. So the dream, of course, is to be in Irvington or Laurelhurst or Lads Edition, uh, but if you're looking for your first home or an investment property, those neighborhoods are often out of reach. Uh, so we're going to talk to you about some of um, the neighborhoods that we love for investing and also about some of the mistakes that people make when it comes to buying in up-and-coming areas to make sure that you don't make them. Yeah. Um, so firstly, when you're buying in an area that isn't as established, you need to think of it as more of a long-term investment. We've been in a very quickly appreciating city for many years, and while everyone's benefited from that appreciation, the up-and-coming areas are doing so a little bit slower than the more established ones. Um, we don't want you to purchase a home and then expect that you're going to make $100,000 next year. <laughs> yeah. um, so we're going to help you come up with a five-year and a 10-year plan to make sure that really the purchase is the best one that you can make. Yeah, and we also want to help guide you so you avoid any big missteps. Mm -hmm. uh, make sure that you don't overpay for a home, of course, or buy something that needs a ton, a ton of work. Uh, we also are going to make sure that you're equipped with a market analysis for the areas that we're looking in, uh, and so you know how much you should be paying for the houses that we see. Uh, we're also going to use our years of experience to identify any inspection red flags and make sure that you don't end up stuck with a property lemon. Um, so now that you know how to buy in an up-and-coming area, uh, two of our favorites. Um, for me, it's really St. John's. They have such a strong sense of community. They have really great restaurants, really great bars, super easy access to the rest of the city. Um, and even though it's gotten more and more popular every single year, it's still one of the most affordable places to live. And also, you get to be right next to the incredible Cathedral Park. It's beautiful. It's true. Yeah. Um, for me, I really love the Foster Powell neighborhood. Uh, a lot of the same reasons, actually. They have a really strong sense of community as well and a lot of good neighborhood-focused events. Uh, ever since Foster Road went down to two lanes this last year, we've been seeing a new boutique, a new coffee shop, a new cocktail bar pop up practically every other week. So while the prices there have been increasing as more and more people recognize the investment opportunities there, you can really still find affordable homes, and it's just a fun place to be. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, there's lots of other areas also that are still affordable, still great places to invest, and we're happy to talk to you about them. Um, just give us a call or email us and reach out and let us know what you're specifically looking for, and we'll help you get into the perfect neighborhood. Exactly. And we're always happy to share our resources with you and answer any of your real estate questions that you may have. Uh, make sure to follow our blog as well for restaurant and bar recommendations. That's one of our favorite things to share about. So, uh, And thanks for joining us today, and hopefully we'll be talking to you soon. Bye. Bye.